What is up people, my name is Ojuns, welcome back to the In today's video, I'm going to take you to step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can get yourself an online virtual visa card for purchasing and then transactions. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do your best and then subscribe because this video is going to be in-depth. So we watch the video to the end and if you have any questions, put it down in the comment section. Now, before we start, we're going to use a third-party platform to host this online virtual visa card. And I'm not going to tell you the name of this platform now because I want you to watch the video to the end. But I'll leave a link in the description. You can click on that link and sign up to the platform. Before you click on the link, watch the video to the end to get the understanding of how to use the platform to get the visa card. Woo! Before we dive into any tutorial, I want to give you some benefits of using an online virtual visa card. All right, so these are some of the benefits of using an online virtual visa card. The first one I can give you is security. Now, these cards are not physical cards and so prevents or decreases the risk of someone stealing the card and using it for their own purpose. The second benefit of using an online virtual visa card is privacy. Now, it allows you to make purchases online without revealing your true credit card information or details. You realize that on the physical cards that you get from your credited banks, they have your details on the card. And so hackers can easily find your personal details with the card. Compared to the online virtual visa card, there are no details as, as personal information or personal details on these cards. So you can use them for online transaction and purchasing stuff online. The third benefit of using these types of cards is international use. Now, with an online virtual visa card, you can purchase anything on any website based in any country at all. Now, you've noticed that most of the visa cards from our local banks cannot purchase anything online. But with these online virtual cards, you can purchase anything from any country at all. The fourth benefit that I can give you is that online virtual cards have no credit check. Online virtual cards usually don't have any credit check compared to a physical card from our local bank account. All right, so enough for the benefits. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can click on that link. It's an affiliate link. It's going to lead you to that platform and then you download it. But before you do that, watch the video to the end to get a little bit of understanding before you sign up to this platform. Yes, of course, I'm going to gain a commission when you click on my link. So you do that to support me. Subscribe to the channel and let's dive deep into this tutorial. Send money fast. You can send money with this platform through other countries like Kenya, Rwanda and Uganda or other Eversend wallets which means people using Eversend you can add money to your wallet through Visa, Mastercard or mobile money just click on add money you can create custom links that you can send to people when, when they click on this link it's going to lead them to a payment platform that they can pay you through Eversend all right you can buy airtime pay your bills with this all you need to do is to sign in with your gmail and then you verify your gmail from a code that they sent to you which is a one-time code and then you want to type in your country once you type in your country you type in your mobile phone number and then they will send you an otp code once again and then you're going to verify the otp code so i'm going to type it in right here and you can see that i'm proceeded now you need to type in your first name your last name and then your date of birth make sure you type in the correct details because it is a banking platform and um, um, an e-transaction platform so you need to type in the correct details you need to type in your password real quick so just follow the tutorial and i'm going to show you how to get the online virtual visa card you they'll give you access to create a pin a personal pin in case you forget the password so i selected 960. now it says start using eversend now we have balance card sent and and more now to add um, money to your account you need to verify your address so click on verify your address and type in your current address now you type in the town in which the address is located and it's going to verify the account for you all right once you are into the verification stage you click on start to verify your identity all right so here we're going to upload a document and record a video of ourselves to check if the document is valid we're then going to allow access to the camera and then from here we're going to click on any of the countries we have so i'm in ghana select ghana and then i'm going to use the ECOWAS identity card so i'm going to click on that one it's going to tell me to scan the front side of the card all right so from here you either attach a photo or you take one from real time so i'm going to select a photo that i've already taken and yeah i'm going to select my ECOWAS identity card import it into this platform and then your identity is not at risk so this is a legal platform now you are required to upload the back side of your ECOWAS identity card so you select the back side make sure the picture is clear 
with no flares and no um, brightness on it all right you'll be given the opportunity to make two circles with your head like a dummy and then just follow them and do this it sounds dumb but you have to do it by the way all right so once you're done you click on upload and then you upload it into the server to make sure that you're a human being this is to check if you are a human being and to verify your face on the um identity card or the equals identity card that you uploaded so it's going to take a while to upload into the server and then you're going to wait for your account to be verified click on done and then we wait for verification it takes approximately 24 hours to for your account to be verified so you have to wait you see it says your account has been verified from ever sent and then you can continue to apply for the virtual online visa card that is the main reason why we are here you mostly have an account in usd ghana cities and kenyan shillings so you need to found any of these wallets and then you can apply for a card to found the wallet you either do it through credit card debit card um bitcoin stable coin and flutter wave link that you can use to verify for the account you can also use mobile money but in this case i'm going to use a credit card or a debit card so i'm going to type in my card details and i'm going to transfer a found onto one of my wallets for me to be able to apply for the online virtual card because if you have no funds in the wallet you cannot apply for an online virtual card so that's basically what you do so this is my standard chartered visa card and then i have applied for um a transaction of one dollar to be deducted from my account and i'm going to copy a code from my gmail come back to the server or the platform and then paste it there all right it's going to take it some time and it sees standard chartered bank blah 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 yes add in usd now if you add the money in usd it's going to deduct additional transactional fees which is very bad now you head on to cards and you click on card and this is the card you have the option to select between purple blue and then orange now you need to found the card before the card should be verified for you to use on other platforms you can use this card on any other platforms in the united states or wherever you want to make a purchase online with a, an online virtual uh, visa card you can link this card to paypal if paypal permits so i'm going to make a full tutorial on how to link the ever sent online virtual visa card to paypal and so that's it you basically add funds to it and then once you add the found, you'll be able to get the card to use for online transactions. And so, all right, so we're going to go through a quick recap. To get the card, open the Eversend app and click on cards. Click on create new card. You have the option to select between three colors, purple, black, and orange. So once you select the card that, you, that, that best suits you, so you click on continue. And then once you click on continue, it's going to... Give you the accessibility to add the found and then you remember that we added a found to our main wallet so you can transfer that found onto the card and once the the card is founded you'll be able to use the card the card will be active for online transactions so i'll leave a link to this platform in my description you can click on it and i'm going to see you guys in the next one until then stay safe peace